Hey guys, this is Martin from Bug Bounty Service again. Um, today I'm going to show you a vulnerability, well, basically a chain of vulnerabilities of information disclosure, which will then result in a full compromise of the local database. Okay, um, let's get started. So we are on bugbountytraining.com on, on this domain here. And one thing I like to do or researchers like to do is simply Googling around, um, you know, see where this domain is mentioned, if there is any Reddit posts, if there is any, any other posts with potentially sensitive information. And, and one, one of these sources to, to look for and to spider is GitHub, because GitHub is like a software repository and a lot of people have, you know, private and public or just public or just private repositories there. And if developers are not careful, often they, you know, like basically commit um, a change and they sync it with the wrong repo and then it's public and it should have been private and then sensitive information leaks out. Uh, in addition, developers sometimes simply forget um, you know, like to remove sensitive information like URLs and stuff like that from comments. And that's also a valuable source for a security researcher. So I've done this in advance. So I found a GitHub repository, public repository um, called Bug Bounty Training, which sounds interesting. And then I already see here bugbountytraining.com. So this is basically um, choosy information for us. So, right. So I would simply scroll down there and look for interesting information. I will go through this one by line, uh, line by line. I'm, I'm not doing this right now because uh, in, in, in order of, of time constraints and things like that. But what I want to show you is there's a comment down here, right? And this comment says script source, HTTP QA dev. So that's like a, a QA development subdomain and there is a debug.js. That sounds interesting. So let me just copy this whole URL out and I will put it here into a new tab. And I run it and nothing happens because it seems like may, maybe this has been taken offline. Maybe it's not, it's not there anymore or, you know, whatever. But um, as a researcher, I would then simply take, like, for example, that information, like the path, and see if this is maybe on, on the live website, this is something where this is basically online, right? So I try this and I think I made a mistake here. Give me just one second. So the path is def assets debug.js. And I go back here and I believe I forgot something. I forgot the def. Yes. Like this. Okay. And there you go. So basically, um, I have now found something at debug.js, a JavaScript file. And by analyzing that JavaScript file, I immediately see there's an AJAX request being made. And one is commented out here, but one is going to the log.php and one is going to the logger.php. So let me simply um, basically take this URL, take it over here, open another window, and then look at the log.php, right? So um, that's the path from here. And it says, thank you, your message was locked. So mm, not really informational for me. It probably was locked internally or something like this. So what about the logger? This is commented out. Maybe this is a feature which is not yet in production or it was in production, but it's always like trial and error, right? Like um, to see what is the outcome of this. And, oh, this is much more interesting. So I get a debug log. I get a debug log and I get... Uh, the information that the, there's a username. So this is the first leak, but the password is basically um, masked. So I don't get to the password. My secret password was recently changed by the looks of it. And then I get a, another couple of paths here. This one looks interesting. Again, there's a connect.php. So let me go to the connect.php and see what's in there. So you see, this is like a step-by-step -step process always, you know, um, to simply analyze the, the, whole, the whole application. And there we go. And now we have our full informational leak. We have the MySQL host um, on, on localhost, basically. We have the username as root. And what's really important is 
this one here. That's the MySQL uh, password. And in addition to that, we also know which database, the database is called BB Training. So this could now be used to gain full access to to the database and then extract information. And there, there was no special hacking, no tools needed, nothing like that. Just following through certain hints, certain URLs you find in JavaScript code, and then just following them and, and see what's available to you. Okay, I hope this makes sense, and I look forward to see you in one of the next videos. Thank you.